It's time for Firefly. It's the best day of the week for me, because I get to watch it. My name is Jeff McCobb, senior video producer with Cinema Blend, and I am just now getting around to watching through Firefly for the first time, which is insane because I'm a big old geek and I really should have seen it by now. The last time we checked in on this group of scoundrels with hearts of gold, the Alliance fleet that was after them has since kind of left them alone because Mal saved one of their lives. We still don't know what's going on with River because she won't tell Simon what they did to her at the Academy me, but it's starting to be alluded to that she can like talk to ghosts or she has some kind of connection mentally with people like maybe some sort of telepathic thing going on I don't really know I don't I don't really know what's going on and I think that I'm not really supposed to know at this point in time so essentially for episode four we're just back where we started before we continue you know the drill please hit subscribe turn on your notifications we're posting these multiple times a week and you're gonna want to know when we come out with a new one. So, all right, let's do it. Episode four, Shindig. That's a Shindig, all right. Look at that Shindig. Hey. <laughs> I was gonna say, that looked like a surprisingly normal game of pool. <laughs> that's funny. It's like, that doesn't look like future pool, but okay, that makes sense. Labor, you mean uh, slaves. Well, it wasn't volunteers for damn sure. Some of that How classic malintegrity. Might have to clear up before too much longer. Seems there's a thief about. Thief? Took this right off him. And they earned that with the sweat of their slave trading brows. Now. Of course, they won't discover it until they go order their next round of drinks. Way. Good drinker, that one. <laughs> Another bar brawl, man. It's the second bar brawl in three episodes. Like I said, some scoundrels. Yeah. Take my land. That's still the only lyric I know. There she is. I'm gonna stay a while on Persephone. My I like best. Persephone. It's a big, just big close. set. What a flattering invitation. I had no idea I was arriving in time for the social event of the season. So, you'll accompany me? I ask, heart in my throat. I'm delighted to say I'll be there. Because companions choose their own clients. She makes that very Captain clear. Captain? Atherton Wing. Yeah, he's a regular, ain't he? Not what I pictured. He's jelly. Young. Must be rich, too. Afford your rates. I suppose. He has engaged me for several days. Boy must have stamina. Mm. He is he does. so jealous. Actually, we're attending a ball tomorrow night. Hey, look at Persephone. It's dope, man. I just, just want to visit there. Thriving big city. But then you got Alliance walking around. Too much fufara. If I'm going to wear a dress, I want something with some slink. I'll chip in. I can hurt you. <laughs> the only place I've seen something so nice is some of the things that Nora has. I like the ruffles. What are you gonna do in that rig? Bounce around the engine room? You're like a sheep walking on its hind legs. Aww. She's still a woman, bro. <sighs> Hurt her feelings. Sensitive dick. Old friend? Badger. Captain Reynolds. Oh, yeah. I love this guy. I heard you was in town. Could I get away with dressing like that guy? I know the answer is no. Seems to me the last time there was a chance for a little palaver, we were all manner of unwelcome. There's a local. By the name of Worry Caro. Got some property he wants to sell off planet. Fetch a higher price. The local powers won't let him sell off world. All my man Arrow needs himself is a smug. Shane's just helping himself. Dislike. What happened? Is he a faith? He's a quality <laughs> gen. Nose in the air like he never won Guapi. He backed out of a deal last time. This seems like a very similar scenario in which there was some sort of assumption uh, that they weren't going to start with the pilot episode. But this guy played a huge role in the pilot episode. Had you not seen that exchange go down, if the network didn't air the pilot, they just gave you a neat little recap of everything that went down last time where they were there. Oh, you backed out of a deal. I almost wish I didn't know that they didn't air the pilot because now I find myself wondering in these types of situations, was it a rewrite, was it a reshoot? Were they just recapping that specifically because they knew people weren't gonna see it? Like, I don't know. Cause you could totally see this guy right now out of context, having never seen the pilot and they can still continue with the story and you have a feel for their relationship and what went down. Anyway, you guys have been giving me some good information in the comments, so please continue to do that. You're all I, you're all I got, but no spoilers. No place it'll be, safe place. Of course, you couldn't buy an invite with a diamond the size of a testicle. I got my hands on a couple. <laughs> of invites. You want this meeting or not? <laughs> Atherton Wing and Inara Sarah. 
Bougie. Half the men in this room wish you were on their arm tonight. Only half. All of them wish they were in your bed. Well, not as charming, bro. She blushes. Not many in your line of this guy seems here. like a pretentious little douche. Kaylee. He says, Bowie. Kaylee. You still mad at me? Not speaking to you, Captain. Got no need to speak. Come on, got a job for you. I'm trying to offer you something, you know. A life. If you want, you can live here on Persephone as my personal companion. You're a generous man. Ah, He felt bad. Look what he did. That's cute. This guy always... Oh, my. That is a cool chandelier. Did you see the chandelier? It's hovering. What's the point of that, I wonder? That's what I oh, said. Oh, mangoes. I mean, I see how they do it. I just ain't getting the why. I'm surprised the shepherd's gambling. But I guess it's I'll for chores. Two. What are you up to? Septic vac. What, what the, the place heck? made of solid money like is anything. River you shepherd mister. That's a nice pile of things I don't have to do. What the fuck? <laughs> Better see to her. This guy is that just like a over. Calm <laughs> Do that public get herself hauled off. She loves her strawberries, man. Everything's so fancy, and there's some kind of hot cheese over there. It's not as good as last year. <laughs> oh, really? What did they have last year? Standards. Oh. Who made your dress, Kaylee? Catty people at this party, man. The upper crust. Sir. My name's Malcolm Reynolds. I captain a ship named Serenity. I mention this because I've been led to understand you want to move some property off the world. Hello, call Badger. I know him. And I think he's a psychotic lowlife. And I think calling him now is an insult to the psychotic lowlife community. But the deal is so. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. So, Warwick, I know I'm you're the only the one that likes Badger. Atherton, Captain Mal Reynolds. Pleased to meet you. Atherton. Hi, Nora. I didn't realize you were going to this party. I'm sure you won't mind if I ask Anara the favor of a dance. This is her gig, bro. You're a brave man. I know it's mine. By the way, the 8010's the same machine. They just changed the plating. Hope no one noticed. <laughs> She's all popular amongst the down-to-earth older men. Eating the hors d'oeuvres. She ain't fake. Oh, no. Money changed hands, which makes her mine tonight. No matter how you dress her up, she's still... Oh. What? Man, was that a lie? Yeah, he deserved it. I accept. That's great. What? Are they gonna well, fine. duel? Let's get out of here. The duel will be met tomorrow morning at Cage Repot. Any gentleman here can give you use of a sword. Use of a sword? He's not one for a sword fight. What's going on? The wing may be a spoiled dandy, but he's an expert swordsman. You must up Atherton's face, and that has endeared you to me somewhat. Huh. They just can't stay out of trouble, this crew. Oh, 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 I'm not running off. I never back down from a fight. Yes, you do. You do all the time. Well, yeah, but I'm not backing down from this one. <laughs> He's an expert swordsman, Mel. Ooh, that's a cool sword. Becoming increasingly impressed with the weaponry he in this not universe. not do anything. You got a secret? No, I'm... Sure. Uh... I got a secret. Is she mocking his accent? One. One of Graf Jobs here and there. Spent some time in the lockdown, but less than a claim. <laughs> Was that just her diffusing the situation? It takes less than a pound of pressure to cut skin. They teach you that in Horror Academy? This guy's. You have a strange sense of nobility, Captain. Yeah, for real. You'll lay a man out for implying I'm a whore, but you keep calling me one to my face. Exactly. I might not show respect to your job, but he didn't respect you. That's the difference. Don't take his offer. Oh, he loves her. Just in the case that it happens, it means he's a fellow killed me. And I don't like fellows that killed me, not in general. Anyways, don't. So sometimes Mal is a little bit difficult to root for, but at the same time, I guess that, that just makes him like a successful anti-hero. I don't think he would ever confess his love for her, like especially this early on. And I, I honestly don't think he would try to convince her not to stay either. Like he would be too forward with his emotions if he did request that. But what he can't stand the idea of is her staying and being with the guy that murdered him. It's pretty heavy, it's pretty heavy. It's some heavy stuff. What is this, a rom-com? I'm kidding, I like the love interests. So dramatic, what a romantic setting. Duel for a woman. One of them is in love and the other one's in lust. 
there's even like the fog <laughs> on the ground. The way this show mixes like era and genre is almost borderline cheesy, but I think that's kind of the point, Joss Whedon's camp. Hey, he learned something. Just be careful, lad. He thinks he's doing well, doesn't he? Oh, he's messing with him. He could have gutted him already. Another one of the show's classic aha moments where Mal comes through with a little bit of badassery. What's he doing? It's all fault for that. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. They're going to kill off the main character in the fourth episode. All for a fancy shindig. That's it. Atherton, wait. I I'll stay here. Exclusive to you, just let him live. No. Oh, fuck. He's down. I love that he threw the broken blade. For a man to lay beaten and yet breathing, it makes him a coward. It's humiliation. Mercy is the mark of a great man. Oh. Guess I'm just a good man. <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm all right. I should have ugly'd you up so no one else would want you. Ooh, yeah, fuck this guy. See how I'm not punching him? I think I've grown. <laughs> you didn't have to wound that man. Yeah, I know. It was just funny. You willing to fight that hard to protect my property? I'll have it in your hold before midnight. Is that what the next episode's gonna be about? Mighty fine shindig. <laughs> I got a deal. Now get off my ship. It's all very much for a lovely night, then. Tell me that guy doesn't have his charms. Come on. Is there a dress down there someone bought for her? She kept it. She's great. Love that character. To Kaylee and her inter-engine fermentation system. <laughs> Kaylee also makes the booze. Don't care that much chick for is unstoppable. Parties. I wasn't going to stay, you know. Why is that? Someone needs to keep Kaylee out of trouble. And all my things are here. Besides, why would I want to leave Serenity? Can't think of a reason. That's the cargo. <laughs> Funny. All right. Besides, why would I want to leave Serenity? It's an old, gross ship full of cows where a captain is around calling her a whore on a regular basis. The joke, of course, being that she has every reason to leave and almost no reason to stay there except for the fact that she cares about the crew and she clearly cares about him. Makes me wonder, was there a plan for them to get together in season one? Uh, was there a plan for them to get together in season two and that never came to fruition and then we see it happen in Serenity? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna find out, because I'm gonna keep watching. Once again, I have no idea what's going on with River. Everything just gets more and more complicated with every episode. That's like the main plot thread here that we keep following and haven't really gotten any closure on, which I'm sure is, you know, by intention, but it, it's almost like every episode we're back where we started, because it's very episodic, and then it ends, and we're like, all right, now what? Now we have a bunch of cows to transport. We know that River could tell when the dead was around. Suddenly she knew everything about Badger, and she disarmed the scenario by charming him. But did she know that stuff just because she's like a genius and she's incredibly intuitive? Or was she like reading his mind or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting for that part to develop. I'm waiting for those two motherfuckers to finally kiss. So we'll see what happens, man, because I will be back with another episode, with another reaction next week. So make sure to go down in the comments, start a discussion with me, answer some of my questions because, you know, I'm, I'm in the dark a little bit. I'm kind of watching this show out of context. No spoilers, though, but, you know, like, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk some Firefly. Also, while you're down there, be sure to hit subscribe, turn on your notifications so you're the first to know when we post a new video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.